What's up guys? Welcome back to the admin account. As you can see, I got the spiky trident, but I'm still in the second C. I originally had awakened Doe as well, but uh, that's not impressive in the second C. This is the account that Rip Indra manually put these on for me so that I could level the account up. This is part three. We're doing 1,500 all the way to 2,450. So while I'm killing this boss in the background or getting to the third C, I just want to say you probably missed part two of this. The day I uploaded part two was apparently the day that like everybody's channel ripped because of a click-through rate error on YouTube. So if you've missed it, Make sure you go back, watch part two, and then you can come and watch part three. We're going all the way to max level in this one. It's going to be hyped. If you guys are excited, press like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you all in the third C. This is it, boys. The third C on the account. We're no longer special because you can get this in the third C. And obviously, you could get Awakened Doe in the second. But that's fine. I wanted to go all the way to max. So I have some extra plans to go along. So we're going to start with the Pirate Millionaires, obviously. But in 15 minutes time, I'm going to roll over to the castle. I'm going to get an elite NPC. I'm going to go fight them because I would like to get the Hunter's Cape and things like that just to up my movement speed. And you get a heap of XP when you kill them. Uh, how hard are these guys? Did that look like, yeah, I do good damage. And I didn't even have Haki on. There is a Lava Man on this island somewhere. And I think if I defeat him, I will get to level 1,525, which means we move on from the millionaires to the billionaires. And of course, he was in the last place that I looked. Come on. This is the Magma one. He could kill me. There we go. Okay, I actually managed to beat him. And I get the 100 fragments every time too, which is for our, hopefully, our one race reroll that we do in the future. All right, last four of these. These guys are easy. You just group four of them up and kill them two lots. Easy game. Oh, don't wait. Boom, there we go. Now we're 1,550. We can serve a hop stone, who shouldn't be too bad with this fruit because obviously I can just roll out there. Just be dead. There we go. Wait, have I, st I haven't gotten an item yet still? Alrighty, I've just hit 1,600. I'm hopping public service to farm stone still. I've switched over to the pilot helmet. I got it as a drop. It makes me move way faster. So like getting over here is quicker. I'm doing this for another 74 levels. And then going straight to the island empress. Because apparently you should skip most of the regular island or Hydra Island mobs. Alrighty, guys. I just hit 1,626. And I was looking at the leveling guide. And it said you can do the island villages in the middle as long as you're not a Buddha user. And I think that has to do with all the ledges you can get stuck on. So apparently my doe fruit, which I have just hit 600 mastery on. We're now max mastery on Awakened Doe, which is insane. It should be able to do this pretty easily. Let's go, boys. We're about to be 6, 1,650. I think I'll just kill like one of these and I'll level up. Come on, please be enough XP. No, oh, that actually wasn't even that close. It did like nothing. All right, last two. And by looks of my XP bar, I was going to have to do an entire quest anyway. All right, now we can move on to the big islanders over here. And then finally onto the Empress. All right, I just missed the level, but 1,675. I'm going to take off the hat now. Go back to the glasses to get as much like additional damage as I can. And now we're moving on to the Empress boss. So we'll be hopping servers again. This is going to be... Is this difficult with this fruit? Maybe not. All right, we're so close. Oh, no, of course she happened to just hit me with an arrow. Stupid game. Die. What? There we go. Okay, not too bad. 1,700. And honestly, what an unpleasant experience. Why do so many max level players PvP at the second lowest level boss in the third C? Like, bruh. <laughs> I died so many times, but it's fine. We're done now. We're going to the Great Tree. We're doing 75 levels at the next ones. Alrighty, boys. Well, I killed only these three npcs the entire time i was on this island but this is the last one then i'm pretty sure we're going floating turtle which will honestly that's when it starts to get a lot faster so more levels more often sounds good there we go the last two finally turtle time 
It's been a little bit, so I think I'll go to the castle and get an elite NPC. All right, come on. Beyond giant turtle. Floating turtle. Yes, perfect. One, two. Come on. Ah, oh, three. Not three. Lame. I did get a bandana, though, which is good, I think. All righty, boys. Last a couple, and then we are 1,800, and we'll be moving on to whatever the other fishman things are. The ones over there that throw the tridents. Come on, last hit. Let's go. Oh. There we go. Come on, 1,800. All right, that's 1,826. So we're moving on to the pirates that are next to the mansion. I think the forest pirates. We're going to do them for 75 levels before we move on to the jungle pirates at 1,900. All right, last time doing the forest pirates. These guys are good. They're easy to, like, you group them up in twos and they're pretty easy to kill. Except for when that happens. Come on. All right, last two. Here we go. After this, we're moving on to jungle pirates, which aren't very great to grind. But for whatever reason, there's a huge XP jump between like every other quest before jungle pirates just doesn't give as much XP. And then suddenly jungle pirates gives a lot of XP. So we'll do those guys for 25 levels. Let's go, boys. Last two. The jungle pirates kind of fast. The third sea's good once you get off like Hydra Island. But according to the, the guide that I'm following, these next NPCs are like some of the fastest in the game to level up with. So Musketeer Pirates, I'll be doing these, I think, for 100 levels. These are so easy because I can just roll over here. And there's a couple of them right here. There's a guy up there. There's a guy up there. This guy right here. They also like, they flash step. So I think if I... Oh, I can't hit them where they are. Okay, I have to shoot them with a different attack. All right, last three, boys. Let's go. These were so fast. These are actually awesome to grind. We finish off these three, and then we get to move on to Haunted Castle. The skeletons, I grind those on my main account for mastery. So these are going to be great. Here we go. So I'm going to do skeletons. I'm going to skip living zombies and then go into the... I can't remember if they're vampires or whatever. They use the magma fruit just in there. And then I don't know if I'll do the underground ones. Can't remember. All right. I am back on the turtle. I've got 3,000 fragments now. So is it taut? Yeah. Rerolls your race for 3,000. Come on. Yes! I got rabbit. That's exactly what I want. I just wanted to move a little bit faster. I also didn't set my spawn on the haunted ship. So I have to drive all the way back there. Yo, I was too busy watching some YouTube videos. I totally missed the level. But 2026 means we're moving on to... Ooh, not these guys. Yeah, this is so easy. The demonic souls are right on top of the quest giver. Apparently, these guys are the best. I used to AFK these guys with Buddha to get our free mastery. 2,075, boys. Getting the rabbit was such a game changer. We're going to Sea of Treats now, which is... This is it. We're in the last zone. We have to do what? 375 levels? Is that right? Sea of Treats. I think this is like Peanut Land. Is this where you start? I have a feeling that these are all great. The Peanut Scouts, yeah, this is it. These are great to grind, actually. Yeah, because I can... Oh, there's one there, one there, one there, and then one more of a... Oh, no, there he is. There he is. One right there. Yes, four at a time. I can do this. Last four of these, and then we're moving on to the other side of the island. These guys are so efficient to do. Like, they're so easy to group up. I say that as I get one stuck, but they're usually so easy. And the last one, there we go, 1,000, uh, 2,100. We're doing these guys now, the peanut presidents until, is it just 25? Yeah, we can do 25 levels on these guys if we want. But then if I don't like grinding the ice cream island, I might stick to these for a bit. 2,125, let's go. I do not like the NPCs over here. There's a good chance that I'm going to turn around and go back an island. I'll give these little leprechaun looking dudes a go. Alrighty, guys. The last three of these guys. And then we're moving on to like my favorite thing to grind. It's, I don't know if they're my favorite. They're so easy to grind. Everybody who has played the end game and has done like the Doe Prince has grinded this next area. Here we go. Boom. There we go. 2,200. Let's go. The last kill for 2,300. Then we get off this island. We're in like the new content territory now. Here we go. And that's it. We got 150 levels to go. 
Here we go. Last four Choco Warriors. And then we've got only 100 levels to go after this. The third C is aw like it's an awesome grind once you get past... I said Hydra Island earlier, but honestly, once you get past Big Tree, then it's pretty golden. There's also a lot of other fun stuff to unlock, but like I said earlier, I'm going to Japan. So I don't have time to do the extra stuff. We're just going to level up and then this account will be ready for the next time that max level goes up. Yeah, do Sweet Thief or Choco Warriors until 2400. So these guys here are no go. Apparently we don't do these, but apparently we do these. The final four, let's go. We're about to have 50 levels left and the next island is so conveniently set up that it's just easy to grind. Oh, of course, the last one would bounce over the wall. Where'd he go? Oh, there it is. Hi! Yes! All right, 24 hundo. Let's go. I got the glorious. Nice. All right, final island. What are we calling this? Is this the candy island? Is that is that the name? That's what it feels like. This place is great. They're set up in threes. They're in a little circle. They're easy to grind. Where the guy? Oh, and the guy's in the middle. Whoever designed this island is the best. The final two. We're getting so close. Uh, my brain has just turned off now. We're nearly at the end of the grinding. I'm done. I'm, I'm over it. You're dead. Oh. Why? Die. Don't scatter everywhere. There we go. All right. And that one too. Easy game. Up next. Snow demons. We kill eight as well. Cool. 20. Oh, 24 levels to go. This is it, boys. I have leveled up so many accounts in my time, but it never stops feeling good when you reach that goal level. I know there's a lot of things left to unlock on this. I know there's a lot of things left to unlock on this account, and usually I would go and do all of that, but I really just wanted this video for you guys while I'm on holiday. I didn't want to not be uploading. You know how it is. So we got the levels done. We have completed the account. And I think when the max level increases, we'll come back. I mean, increases by a fair bit. Say the fourth C comes out and the new max level is like 3000 or something. We'll come back. We'll unlock a bunch of bonus stuff and we'll level up this account to the max level again. Thanks for watching this one, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. And again, if you missed it, the second episode kind of got like buried by YouTube. So make sure you go and check it out if you missed it. That way you can see all three parts or you can watch the movie length that will come out in maybe two weeks. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you all next time.